good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. We stand for the national anthem of Switzerland. down the list of names it does look Jim as though it's going to be a 5-3-2 conservatism would appear to be at play Peter however we don't quite know what their motives are just yet it could well be as it looks but it might also be a way of deceiving the opposition into thinking that they're just going to sit back and then hope to produce an aggressive counter-attack or two this system can accommodate that and I certainly hope we're going to get something positive in response and it's not going to be all defence. There's the whistle and here we go. Shakiri plays it forward. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Sambo and Gisa. They're guilty of lacking inventiveness here. It's all broken down. Battles to win it back. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Bolo. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? There are a few waiting for it. Shaka. That's a brilliant interception. Fence has got rid of that. Seferovic. Seferovic gets flagged offside. Keeper's got good distance on that. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. And the referee's awarded a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. And he just whacks it away. Oh, the ball's come loose! out on the left now he came in hard very hard I have to say that was an exemplary tackle stopped him dead in his tracks Sambo and Gisa gets it back has a look and plays it in
beautifully done. Shapes to shoot! Could fall kindly. The captain delivers! Well, this skipper probably feels the obligation more than most to deliver goals at important times. Going into the interval is always a key period, and his opener could prove to be a critical development now. Sommer did well the first time, nothing he could do about the follow-up. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. And it's half-time here. And there they are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. Here we go again, then. Switzerland need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Good ball, it's found its target. Tries to get it forward quickly. Sambo Anguissa. was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. Now by a goal, needing to go up a gear, that's how it looks here. He's in, shot, shoot, ball, Botting has a goal! Shakiri hoists it forward, well played, he saw that coming. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. And the defence can get it clear. And it's played forward. Sambo and Gisa. Lovely bit of skill there. He's gone for it! Good challenge, he just stood firm. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Switzerland must do something here and very quickly. All they need is one big chance and it may do the trick. Oh, that's neat. Cameroon certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. He's gone away. Moments left, barely. And there goes the final whistle. So it ends 1-0, and an enthralling game, and an agonisingly narrow defeat. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, the way the manager has stormed down the tunnel lends itself to an almighty telling off for such a, a timid, docile display. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.